For numerous centuries, exclusive groups have carefully guarded a secret trove of esoteric knowledge, hidden away from the understanding of the broader masses. At the heart of these concealed teachings throbs the powerful art of manifestation. A question looms mysteriously in the shadows of these truths. What profound understanding do these secret societies possess, and why is such wisdom shrouded in layers of secrecy and silence? Manifestation, as unraveled in these hidden teachings, is not merely the surface desire or craving for something. It is a deeply transformative alignment of one's inner emotions, deliberate thoughts, and purposeful actions, orchestrated in a symphony that resonates with the universe's receptive energies. It begins with establishing an intention, a clarified vision, goal, or aim. This is not merely a terminal point, but a luminous guide that directs energies through the profound depths of the emotional furnace, essential for manifestation. Unveiling a universe where emotions act not merely as passive responses, but as powerful activators. Ancient mystical groups, such as the Rosicrucians, regarded emotions as vital instruments of transformation. They believed that emotions could transport our wishes from the spiritual world to the material, acting as a connector between simple hopes and actual reality. Clarifying this, emotions are more than mere feelings, they act as carriers, conveying our deepest, often silent wishes into the universe, thereby creating waves in the cosmic sea that eventually return, carrying the results of our emotional efforts. A phrase from the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn elegantly illustrates this nuanced relationship between emotions and manifestation. In the vibrations of the emotional ocean, we discover the beginnings of realms and the canvases of creation. Exploring this, one uncovers a deep truth recognized by hidden societies. The continuous rhythms or vibrations of emotions possess the capability to either build or destroy, to forge realities and experiences that mirror the innate nature of those emotions. The delightful expectation of realizing a dream transforms from a simple emotional condition to a powerful energy that communicates with the universe, vividly illustrating the desired reality with its emotional colors. Managing emotions involves more than experiencing them. It entails directing them, leading them with intent. Dreaming, when performed with purpose, evolves from a fanciful diversion to a profound interaction with the universe. In this exchange, emotions become the language, broadcasting vibrations of happiness, aspiration, or thankfulness, which echo through the universal realms, attracting energies that synchronize with their nature. Understanding this, we discern why emotions have been highly esteemed in mystical practices, considered not merely as feelings, but as influential energies sculpting our existence. In the realms of these secretive societies, there exists a profound understanding of the universe's interconnectedness, an intricate web of energies that binds the fabric of reality. They believed that mastery over the unseen energies could offer control over the physical realm, transforming thoughts and desires into reality. They cultivated practices, rituals and teachings to harness these subtle forces, guarding these practices with utmost secrecy, allowing only the initiated to access this hidden knowledge. Their practices were grounded in the belief that aligning one's inner energies with the universal flow could manifest desires and influence the physical world, a mystical synergy of the inner and outer realms. Delving deeper into the realms of mystical wisdom, we encounter a concept that may initially seem elusive but unfolds profound depths upon deeper reflection. Whispered in the quiet conversations of secretive circles, the theory of energetic balls unveils the profound influence of accumulated thoughts and emotions. Visualize this as two contrasting spheres of energy, one aglow with positivity and light, and the other shrouded in the shadows of negativity. These orbs flourish on the nourishment of our emotional energies. In essence, our emotions breathe life into them. Submerging oneself in the uplifting currents of positive emotions, basking in moments of pure joy or tranquility, and fostering a heart of steadfast gratitude serves to nourish and amplify the vibrancy of the positive energy orb. Conversely, succumbing to the grips of negativity, sorrow or hopelessness fuels the ominous energy of the darker sphere. Ancient wisdom from the Masons, a respectable secret society, suggests a profound truth. Where the focus of our mind persists, their energy accumulates. It's not merely about comprehending the mechanics of these energetic spheres, 
but embodying and living in harmony with their influential currents. Their magnitude and vibrational frequency resonate in direct proportion to the nature and quality of experiences we draw into our lives. Fortifying the positive energy sphere not only mitigates the potency of the negative, but also magnetizes a multitude of favorable conditions and experiences toward us. Thus, the vibrant expansion of the positive sphere enhances its resonating frequencies, fostering a more rapid and potent manifestation process. This interconnected relationship between our emotional states and these powerful energy spheres is a foundational pillar in mystical teachings, encouraging us to consciously curate and architect the landscapes of our internal realms. Submerging oneself in the present moment, bathed in the embrace of positive emotions, brings not only comfort, but also a powerful force of transformation. This notion, seemingly simplistic at first glance, is profoundly woven into the fabric of secret society teachings. These teachings proclaim that, when an individual truly harnesses the vibrance and energy of the present, the universe begins to align itself more favorably, resonating with their intentions and desires. In this perspective, embracing positivity in the present moment transcends a mere psychological state. It becomes a radiant signal, a beacon casting its luminous invitation to the cosmic forces, declaring a readiness to welcome the marvels of manifestation. The act of cultivating joy and positivity in the present serves as a robust catalyst, invigorating one's journey toward their dreams and aspirations. The absence of this energizing element could lead to a journey marked by stagnation and inertia, irrespective of the clarity or intensity of one's intentions. Inspired by the wisdom of mystical teachings, it becomes fascinating to observe the emphasis placed on the pivotal role of the present moment. As echoed in the words of the Rosicrucians, there is a powerful realization that within the warm embrace of the present blooms the magical potential of the future. Such enlightened teachings guide us toward a realization that each cherished moment is a step that propels us further along the path of manifesting our dreams into tangible, palpable realities. The persistent projection of one's desires into the universe becomes a resonant call, a vibrant echo that reverberates with increasing potency, influencing the responsive energies of the cosmos. This is a journey marked by unwavering dedication towards a clearly envisioned destination where each step is taken with a relentless perseverance, regardless of the challenges and hardships encountered along the path. A deeper exploration into the nature of consistency unveils that it transcends mere routine or the following of a rigid pattern. It emerges as a profound commitment to oneself. It embodies a silent yet powerful vow to persist and persevere, even when shrouded in the mists of doubt and uncertainty. Adopting this practice signifies more than the mechanical repetition of actions. It demands a potent internal vow, a form of sacred self-agreement. Committing to consistency is akin to forging a hallowed pact with oneself, ensuring that the journey forward remains unyielding even when faced with the shadows of doubt or adversity. Ancient teachings, cloaked in the mystery of time, underscore the significance of cultivating a harmonious rhythm in life by embracing this essence of steadfast consistency. In intertwining this rhythmic dedication with the depths of emotional intent, one transcends the act of merely dispatching messages into the universe. Instead, it becomes a profound and resonant dialogue, a powerful communion that ensures the universe not only receives, but also listens attentively and responds with a mirrored depth of understanding and reciprocation. Within the vast spectrum of teachings safeguarded by esoteric assemblies, the enhancement of belief consistently stands out as a fundamental cornerstone. Often, individuals unconsciously confine their own potential, setting boundaries around what they consider achievable. The cryptic wisdom of secret societies propounds that in order to breathe life into monumental aspirations, it is imperative to broaden the horizons of personal conviction and belief. Beginning with a mere spark of hope, these societies guide their initiates to cultivate and nurture this spark, allowing it to flourish and extend its influence into realms once perceived as unattainable. By embracing a more expansive viewpoint, one embarks on a journey of discovering newfound potentials and possibilities previously obscured by limited beliefs. Consider the analogy of a child poised before a vast intimidating canvas. 
Each brush stroke, each vibrant hue applied, gradually unveils the magnitude of their innate creative prowess. In a similar vein, transcending the barriers of self-imposed limitations and fostering a belief in one's boundless potential unveils doors once shrouded in obscurity and doubt. Historical testimonies of individuals who have walked the secretive corridors of these mystical teachings attest to their transformative power, manifesting dreams that might appear extraordinarily fantastical to the ordinary eye. The cultivation of a resilient belief in oneself and in the tangible manifestation of one's desires emerges as a pivotal conduit, bridging the ethereal realms of thought with the tangible realms of reality. It is through the nurturing of a profound belief in the limitless expanse of one's capabilities that one can unlock the doors to the potent energies and possibilities that the secret societies affirm are within reach of every seeking soul. In the hidden chambers where these societies convened, there breathed an air of potent possibility, a resonance with the infinite potentials of the cosmos. Here the initiated were taught to expand the horizons of their belief, to let the mind soar beyond the mundane, and to envision realms of existence where their deepest desires were not just dreams but palpable realities. In these realms, beliefs were not mere passive thoughts, they were dynamic forces, tools wielded with precision and intent. They were taught that belief is the architect of reality, constructing the edifices of our experiences and perceptions. With a nurtured and expanded belief, the mind becomes a powerful crucible, a creative forge, where the raw ores of thought and desire are transformed into the golden manifestations of realized dreams and actualized potentials. Every teaching, every ritual, was a thread in the intricate tapestry of this profound understanding, weaving the fabric of their mystical journey. In revealing the concealed methods of manifestation, a lucid pathway unfolds before us. The cultivation of positive emotions, the establishment of definitive intentions, the embodiment of steadfast consistency, and the prioritization of rejuvenation emerge as the foundational elements in the realization of one's dreams. Manifestation, an art in itself, presents itself as an accessible realm to those who endeavor to comprehend and dedicate themselves to its fundamental principles, thereby illuminating the obscured mysteries once shrouded in the veils of secrecy.